ואנו באנו ארצה לבנות ולהיבנות. כי לנו, לנו, לנו ארץ זו. From its very inception, the Zionist movement viewed the establishment of a Jewish entity in Palestine not only as a political enterprise, but also as a cultural enterprise. During the second Aliyah, when the Jewish community in Palestine was less than 17,000, we can see already at least two high schools. We see the Technion already. We see the Bezalel Art School. It shows you how much this small community was imbued with the idea of culture, how important it was. The man who was responsible for the university in Tel Aviv was the then mayor of Tel Aviv, Chaim Lebanon. Uh, that was very much a dream. And uh, I joined the founding fathers, you might say. We were six of us at the time. I feel a sort of uh, last survivor leaving a message uh, for posterity. Ben Gurion at the beginning was very skeptical about the university. The person who took an active part in convincing him was Shimon Peres who at that time was the general manager of the Ministry of uh, Security. And he came up with the idea of having a chair in military affairs. The chair was opened. Ben-Gurion came to inaugurate the chair and spoke at the inauguration. And this was the beginning of the love affair between Tel Aviv University and the establishment. And the first step the development of the university taken by Tel Aviv municipality in 1953 uh, was putting at the disposal of the nascent institution in Abu Kabir in Jaffa as a temporary quarters of the university. Tel Aviv University at that time really had a social and a cultural impact for the whole Dan area. The scientists, including myself, came here with the goal of establishing something new, unique, important. We started off with a dozen or two students. We stayed there for about 10 years and finally settled here. By the time we moved out, we were over 2,000. So that gives you an idea of how fast development was and how justified Chaim Lebanon was in demanding a university for his city. The university became a comprehensive university that includes almost any subject these days. I think it's the most comprehensive university in this country. First, there were humanities on the one hand, biology and natural science on the other. And slowly but surely, additional faculties opened. Medicine, the addition of law and social sciences, the addition of art faculty, and the faculty of engineering. Dr. George Wise was a remarkable figure. He had real vision about the future of Israel being based on science, technology, scholarship, and public service. He was a great builder in the literal sense. He used all his connections in attracting very sizable donations. The donations are chiefly development. Donors, chiefly outside donors, they have contributed sizable sums, large sums, towards the creation of the facilities. The contribution of the university to the life of this country, we see it 
First of all, in the cultural area, history, archaeology, not to mention, of course, the area of security. Professor of Tel Aviv University are in the front line of the people that advise the government and its agencies. The day when the Six-Day War started, I was sitting with Professor Ephraim Katsir, who was the chief scientist of the defense R&D at that time, discussing the use of lasers and the application of very short laser pulses and very intense laser pulses for military applications. And for instance, the measurement of the range by tanks came out from such. It's a very challenging task to have a leading university, but it depends on the people, the ability to recruit the best scientists from around the world, providing them with the best infrastructure, capital equipment, new labs, and having the best graduate students. All in the atmosphere that encourage innovation, excellence, the quest for knowledge is bringing about the position of Tel Aviv University. I think what makes learning experience here so unique is the variety of perspectives. For instance, if you want to search the core of the human inspiration or the source of the human inspiration, so you can do it neurologically, you can see how it works in the brain, and you can look at it from an artistic point of view, also as a scientific one. So, I mean, there are endless possibilities to research every single thing, and this university kind of makes use um, of all these options. Tel Aviv is the most vivid city in Israel and young people from all over the country come here from all different backgrounds and different ages and they make something happening in this place. And studying here is not detached from living in the city and the intensity of the city itself kind of lingers into the university and the university life lingers into the city life. So what we see is that the university is involved in all areas of life in this country and is a major player to keep the country modern, to enhance its culture and to enhance its security and economy. Mm -hmm.